and this is where the editing happens. Mostly it's just Lucy's gameplays at the moment. Ah, cool. Yeah, maybe she can show you some. Hey Lucy, have you done a Let's Play for this week? <sighs> what? No, I had those done for the next month. Really? Well, yes, I needed to make sure I had enough time to pack. Pack? Where are you going? <sighs> to the National Pirate Convention, of course. Only the fiercest and bravest of pirates can attend, like ugh, Jack Sparrow, ugh, Blackbeard, ugh, Sticky Beard, Long John Silver, <sighs> and Pirate Percy. Um, you lost me on that last one. <sighs> pirate Percy, the scaredy pirate from Candle Cove. Lucy, you don't want to mess with Candle Cove. No nonsense. He's a scaredy cat. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> and he's been on television, so that means connections. No, you don't want to mess with creepy pastas. What's that? The type of noodles they make on Halloween? It means it's not real. Candle Cove is supposedly a show from the 70s that a bunch of people remembered on a forum. It's creepy and had mean characters and poorly constructed puppets and the villain took people's skin. But worst of all, the parents said that the kids watching were just looking at static. No one knows where it came from or what it did to those people. <sighs> because it's not real. It's a made-up story posted online through multiple servers to make it seem like it really happened. Look, I know what a creepypasta is, and I don't care what the forums say. I've met Pirate Percy, and I know that Candle Cove is real. What? Seriously? <sighs> this is why we don't recruit puppets from antique stores anymore. <sighs> Look, Luce, it's fine if you want to believe it, but it's just the same as Slenderman or Jeff the Killer. It's just the internet's take on urban legends. Oh, I'll prove it to ye! I'll prove it to all of ye! And how are you going to do that? They've been storing these for years. Ah. Pen pal letters me and Pirate Percy used to write to each other. Be careful, they're a bit soggy. Ugh, they smell like a fast food fryer. The smell of the ocean. Gross. The point is, is that Percy sent these to me from Candle Cove. See? There. Definite proof. Uh, these are all just gibberish. Uh, looks like a possible Caesar cipher code. What? Of course they do! Ah, listen to this one. Dear Lashing Eye Lucy, It must be scary to travel so far just to play a video game. You are so brave. I wish I was brave. Tomorrow, me show is being aired. At this point, it's for nostalgia, but I don't know if anyone even remembers me or laughing stock. I hope you will at least see it. Regards, Pirate Percy. Wait, so you're fluent in Caesar cipher codes? I am a pirate! I'm fluent in all the codes! That's why that Gravity Falls journal seems so boring! Hey! So maybe Pirate Percy and Laughing Stool are real. Laughing Stock. That's the name of his ship. Well, if that's the case, then we should be able to watch Candle Cove. Oh, yeah. You could just switch on the Sci-Fi Channel and re-watch the first season of Channel Zero, an anthology series that covers fake stories. Why do ye have to be such a Rick, RJ? Hey, all my shows are on hiatus. I've got nothing better to do. Uh, well, this letter was written on Thursday the 12th, which means it aired on Friday the 13th. And today's Friday the 13th. Maybe we have a chance to see if it reruns. Yeah! You do you, boo. I'm going to go to the movies, and I'm going to watch a film that I know actually exists. Go on, doubter! I'm an adult, Luce, and the story says that only kids can see it. Ugh, <sighs> fair enough. Oh, well, maybe we won't be able to see it either. Besides, if it is real, then it could also hurt us, uh, right? We're puppets and they're puppets. It'll be fine. Oh, uh, well, Avery... You're, you're the new member. What do you think? I think we should at least give it a try. Nothing might happen. And if something does, we have knives in the kitchen. Plus, I want to have some time to look through these letters. Well, I always do like an excuse for 
TV night. I'll get the popcorn. So how do we know when it's on? Just watch and it will appear. And Avery's been over there reading me letters. Mm. So it looks like you're still the only one that's able to defend Candle Cove, or the existence of it anyway. Ugh. There will be other Friday the 13th. And then you'll see. You'll all see. <clears throat>
Chester. Chester, wake up. Wake up. Uh, what? Well, I don't want to be the look at this person, but look at this. <gasps> Is that? Well, I know Lucy wouldn't have drawn it. But, but who, who, who did and why? I don't know. It's going to take me some time to decipher all the Caesar ciphers. But one thing's for sure, there is definitely something else going on here. Something big.